Hello, hello, my crafty friends. This is Sybil. You are looking at my coloring station, which will soon change out and be my scrapbooking area. So this is my desk and you can see there's a whole bunch of stuff on it that I plan on sharing with you. So, um, I have been de-stashing my craft supplies, my card making supplies, I, I should say. So last summer, for those of you that don't know, I de-stashed about 50 to 65% of my card making supplies, but I also de-stashed um, like storage solutions and carts. I got rid of two um, rolling carts and actually three, one that you take to a crop, you know, scrapbooking crop. I used to go to those a long time ago, a couple of them. I think I went to two or three of them, but yeah, I haven't done that since because I really was not into scrapbooking at the time. But I thought I would come on today and share with you what I have left as far as um, card making supplies. And um, I do want to preface this by saying that even though I've shared this many times, and I know some of you are going to say this is a broken record, but I have switched my focus, my creative focus from card making to scrapbooking. And I do want to say I'm sorry if I'm, you know, shaking, the camera is shaky. I'm holding my iPhone in my hand because it just doesn't work right with me having it above what I'm trying to share with you because I can't get it all into focus and onto the screen correctly. But, um, so I have been married. It'll be 45 years. This Thursday, May 9th is our anniversary. And I have not scrapbooked photos that I've had since we first got married and through our, you know, our children. I've done a few layouts of my sons, but I'm going back and redoing those because I, I didn't really know what I was doing back then. And I'm still a novice when it comes to scrapbooking, but I'm learning and I'm having so much fun. Um, but I did want to share because I've received a lot of comments and um, messages on Instagram, private messages, as well as comments over there and comments on my videos. Am I getting rid of my card making supplies? Am I not going to color anymore? Have I stopped making cards? And no, um, that is, um, I will still continue to make cards, mainly Christmas and autumn cards. So um, I just wanted to share with you that I love card making. I love to see what other, you know, crafters are making in the way of cards and Copic coloring and water coloring. But again, my focus has shifted to scrapbooking. So when July rolls around, I plan on doing Christmas in July. My goal was to make Christmas cards all year long. I haven't made one Christmas card this year. So I flunked that goal. <laughs> So next year, I'm not going to even try to attain that goal. But I do enjoy making Christmas cards in January. But I've talked enough. I do want to share with you these containers here. So this is a container from scrapbook.com. And I have, let's see, three, two of them I know. And then I also have uh, several wooden ones from, I believe it's Organize More. And I had um, one for my autumn supplies, you know, dies and stamps, and then one for my Christmas. Plus, I had another large container for my Christmas supplies and yet another container. So, this is empty. The other one is empty because I've put all, and I'm going to move these out of the way. Hopefully I can do this without too much craziness with the camera. So I have put, and I'm going to stand up so you can see, all 
my Christmas and autumn stamps, dies, embossing folders, um, the foil, the, the, what are they called? Hot foil dies. Everything like that is in here. And I even have um, papers. This is for autumn and these two are for Christmas. So I've honed it all down. And the reason is I went through my Christmas supplies yesterday as well as my autumn and then more autumn supplies I went through again this morning. And I've already got a big couple piles ready to de-stash those. Um, but I want to wait until after um, Christmas in July, and then I will probably de-stash a whole bunch more of these supplies And at that time. So anyway, this is all, this side is all Christmas, and these large stamp sets are Christmas, and this is all autumn. And... I've got dies over here, stamps and dies, and then some couple magnolia stamps, and that's it. So I'm really proud of myself that I've gotten it down to a doable amount. My Christmas is still too much. I do need to de-stash more of these, but like I said, in July, after, well, after July, I will do that. And then I had this container filled with just stamps. Um, stamps, and if they had coordinating dies, I had dies as well. Let's see if I have one of them like that here. So like, you know, I've got this stamp set and then the dies on the back. I don't even know if I was on camera. So I had this container, I had two containers, and um, after my de-stashing last summer, sorry, I got rid of one of the containers because I had emptied it. And so now these are my stamps, just, you know, regular stamps and dies that I have left. So <clears throat> these are non-Christmas, just all occasion. So I have some paper tray ink, uh, faith, you know, scripture dies here, some Our Daily Bread. I have Penny Black. And then I have some paper tray ink, um, MFT. I've only kept a few um, Stacy Yakula stamps, whether from Purple Onion or MFT. And um, so this is all my dies. Hot foil dies are in here, regular dies are in here, stencils are over here, and my stamps, and that's it. And um, that way I can still make, you know, birthday cards, you know, anniversary cards, all occasion cards. So I've honed everything down to that. And then one last container of stamps. And these are my, if I can get it open, my little cutesy images. So I have Hangler and Wings back here. And then I need to desperately color. And then I just have a few stamps here. This I've kept a La La Land Crafts stamp, Luca, because I have a, a picture, a large picture of my boys dressed in sailor outfits. And I wanna color that up and put that on the scrapbook layout um, with that picture. And then these are my Magnolia stamps that I have. So I used to have a bunch of Magnolia stamps. And that's it, that's all I have left. So I'm super proud of myself, you guys. And yesterday was International Scrapbooking Day. I did not spend a dime on anything. Um, I'm using what I have, and I don't plan on buying any more stamp supplies, card-making supplies. So that's it. Thank you for those of you that watched the video. And again, I apologize for, you know, the poor shaking well not the poor shaking the shaking of the video my poor filming all right bye for now